Hey everyone, welcome to Gundam Time. My name is Andrea, and for this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to progress fast in Eat Venture. And um, my first tip on this is going to be don't cheat. I know it is super tempting when you first start out, especially depending on your personality. Uh, very, very tempting to cheat because of how slow the game goes when you first start out. But recognize this is an idle game. That means you're going to be doing other things while you're playing, like reading a book or watching a show or doing homework or whatever. And just, just let the game go a little bit slow in the beginning without stressing yourself over cheating. But I do want to make sure that I'm giving you guys a heads up so that you guys do things starting out right from the beginning so that you don't end up slowing the game down for yourself as you go along. And in order to do that, hold on, I got to move my little recorder guy over here. Okay, so um, one of the things I always recommend people do right off the bat is they come in here and they buy the X2 boost. And it's going to be up here towards the top. Um, and it's like $5.99 or something like that USD. And I do recommend it because that thing is going to make it huge for you guys. As you can see, my ad boost is times 12. My club all profit is times 2. And this right here, if I didn't have this, then this would only be 24. But because I have it, it's 48, and that makes a huge difference. And so I always recommend everybody, if you're going to spend any money on this game, do it early on in the game and have it be that times two boost. It's it's just super valuable. And pretty much everybody I know who is a serious player of the game has purchased that. It's just, it's really worth it. Okay, so then my next tip is do these boosts down here, this button right here. Do these um, oops, nope, I didn't want to do that. <gasps> Hold on. And I didn't realize my sound was up and I didn't mean to push that stupid button. So sorry about that. And I'm not going to have time to edit that out. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So the next thing I'm going to recommend you guys do is um, unlock the vault. And as you play along, it's just, it'll be really slow in the beginning. That's why you Googled how to progress fast in eVenture. So just set the game aside, let it run next to you and focus on, on upgrading the vault. Um, don't worry so much about this right here. Uh, it, it's just, it's not a huge deal later on in the game. You can, if you want to put a couple gems towards it, but I don't know. I did obviously in the beginning because I didn't have somebody to show me how to play. I would recommend you unlock this and unlock this though first before you really put a lot of gems towards that. So the remote makes your ad boost worth more and the pickaxe makes it so the investor when he pops up, let's see if he's in here. Nope, he's not in here. When he pops up, he offers you gems more frequently. He's never going to offer more than six gems, but he will offer them more frequently. So I recommend getting these two upgraded more uh, specifically the pickaxe and then make sure that you actually watch all of the investor ads when he's offering you gems. So look, he's not, he's offering me cash. You can do it um, when he's offering money because, and that does help in the early game, but um, definitely watch it when he's offering gems. Okay. So then when you're upgrading the remote, upgrade it to um, five or six or so at first. Um, like I said, focus on the pickaxe until you get to level 10 and then work on upgrading or unlocking the rest of the vault because all of these things will make the game progress faster. And then upgrade this TV right here until it makes it so that you see it down here. It says plus 40 minutes right here. It says plus 40 minutes. That TV, you want to upgrade the TV until it says plus 10 minutes. Then that way you're not spending your entire life watching ads. Um, and obviously you can go higher than that, but at the very beginning, don't worry too much about that. Okay, and then you're going to upgrade the rest of these accordingly. Some of them you'll use a lot. You'll just go through and decide which ones you think are most valuable. As you can see, you, you can see actually which ones I think are valuable. Um, I accidentally upgraded that one higher than I planned to it, but it doesn't hurt in the beginning to get it to that high. Anyway, in the beginning, you're not going to be in the beginning doing that, but, you know, cities tan around. Uh, anyway, so just go through and decide where you want to put these guys. They, they can be pretty valuable early game, um, but... Anyway, so let's keep going. So the first goal you're going to be aiming towards when it comes to the guy you have in here, your main character, is first tier meta. And I'll talk about what that is in a little bit. But uh, before I get to that, you're, you might need to buy boxes in the beginning to get good enough gear. And it could be these here and it could be this here. Um, because sometimes the randomly dropped boxes just do not drop good enough stuff. So you might need to buy boxes in the very beginning to get good enough gear. And by good enough gear, I mean some epic gear. Um, so I'm talking like these guys down here, you know, you want to just have um, something that gets you moving. Okay. <clears throat> and it could be rare um, that you put some commons to, to upgrade. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be epic, but, um, and once you reach club 70 or sorry, um, reach city 70, join a club. I do have a warning on that. However, uh, 
I recommend if you join a club, do it through Reddit or through Discord or through Facebook. I don't even know if there's an Eventure Facebook thing for this, but do not join a club just by doing a random search for clubs in here, guys. If you do, you will end up probably getting booted from that club after you salvage XP. I'm sorry to say it, but a lot of club owners are not smart in how they run their club and they just boot people left and right. Um, who knows, whatever reasons, maybe they created the club, they didn't make it private or whatever, and they're just booting people because they don't like them in there. Uh, do not join a club unless you can talk to the club owner through a different channel, um, so like Discord or Reddit or something like that, okay? And th and like I said, it's, it's because you'll possibly end up getting booted, you'll salvage a bunch of different stuff, and you will lose access to that club because they'll boot you because... There are a lot of really stupid club owners out there who just boot people all the time. Hopefully that's not you that I'm talking to right now. And I'm not sorry if I've offended you by calling you stupid because booting people all the time is stupid. Um, don't spend food upgrading pets. So you're going to come in here. You're going to be getting all of these eggs. Okay. You're going to start out with a common egg. These always hatch into chickens. Go ahead and hatch that chicken egg and then have it be something that, you know, it says right here, quip. Go ahead and hatch that chicken egg and wear it and let that little chicken follow you around. But do not upgrade that chicken because you're going to want to save that food to hatch this next egg right here. You see the difference? 100 and, 152 bones to ch uh, hatch. Is that really all it is? And this is 152 as, weir as well. That's weird. Let's see what rare or epic is. 152. Hmm. Oh, dirt. I'm looking in the wrong spot, guys. <laughs> okay, so right here, this is 100 feet food. I have 152. Sorry, 300. And then um, this one is 900. So hatch your first chicken. Go ahead and do that. Then hatch your first rare. This is going to be either a dog or a kitty. Um, and uh, and then do that. Don't don't focus on upgrading them. And then fo save your eggs or sorry, save your food to get the 900 to hatch this epic pet. And when you do hope that you get this guy here or this guy here. Okay. Cause the dark horse or the tortoise, they are part of the, um, the first tier epic or sorry, first tier, uh, meta gear. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you about that right now. If I can get over here. Okay. So the first tier meta includes the robot head. Do I even have one anymore? Yep, I do. Here's my robot head right here. So it includes your robot head. And includes the KBB, which do I have one? This is the KBB right here. KBB is awesome because it makes you work, all of your workers walk really faster. And then a laser gun. And you'll eventually get two laser guns, but in the beginning, just one laser gun. And I don't have one currently because I use them to create my mythic meta. So um, the full first tier meta is the robot head, the KBB which is this thingy here and the, um, and two laser guns. And then also a dark, dark horse and a tortoise, a dark horse or a tortoise. And then the Panda and Panda is part of also the mythic meta. Okay. So, um, that is the first tier meta and you guys focus on getting that. Do not chase the mythic meta. Do not try to get the mythic meta until you've got the full first tier meta because um, it will double or even triple your time to get there because it's so much harder to get mythic because mythics require one of every single ultimate and those ultimates take a full month to get because the events that they come from only happen once a month. Okay, more on that in a little bit. Don't buy large boxes chasing legendaries. I'll explain to you why. Um, because a legendary blueprint is only a 5% chance of dropping and there are tons of legendaries, guys. There are tons of legendaries. So you have a 5% chance of this guy right here dropping. And you have a 5% chance of this guy dropping. But they fight, they compete with each other. So you've got all of these here. There's a lot more than just this. All of these here, there's a lot more than just this. All of these here, there's tons more than just that. So do not buy big boxes chasing um, legendary. I get asked all the time, how do I get legendary stuff? Guys, don't, don't try to get legendary stuff. You're going to be saving your gems up. Once you've got your vault upgrade a little bit, you're going to save your gems up for these events that happen up here in this top right corner right here. Okay. So you're going to be saving your events, your gems specifically for the moon event. The moon event happens once a month. If you go on my discord server, I do have a list of when the events, like what order they come in, they come in the same order every single month. Uh, and for those of you watching this in the future, adventure devs are planning planning on releasing a releasing new events, but as of this recording, that has not happened yet. So 
<clears throat> so save your gems from the moon event and you're going to want to get the robot head and two laser guns at all costs. And by all costs, if you want to spend money in the game and buy gems, do that or whatever, but save up your gems and try to get that robot head and two laser guns. And like I said, um, while you're focusing on that, the, the Kimono Black Belt, the KBB and other legendaries that you will need to build, sorry, that you will need to build like the robot head or the two laser guns, they will probably drop during the time you are spending gems on the event box. By the way, the event boxes will be right here. Um, they will drop during the time when you're spending gems trying to get the robot head and the two laser guns. At least in my experience, that's been the case and it's been pretty consistently that way. So, um, and that leads to another tip when you are in here, don't, you're going to, right now it doesn't matter because I've got everything I need, but before you have all of your mythic meta and before you have all of your, um, your first tier meta, don't sell all of these things down here. Don't use them to upgrade things. Don't use them in your club benefits. You're going to want to keep two of every epic, three of every rare, two of every legendary, and two of every ultimate. And I always keep two of every mythic. The reason for that is because once you finally get your robot head, you're going to want all the parts down here to, to build it. The robot head includes, I think it requires like um, this one right here maybe to build. I can't remember. But... Um, if you don't have this one built already because you don't have these things down here, then it's like, it's just really complicating how fast it takes you progr to progress through the game. And so in the beginning, after you get past like city 10 or whatever, start saving up three of every rare and two of every re epic, and then put all the rest towards either your club or upgrading whichever, whichever um, equipment you're currently wearing gear. Okay. And that is also this other tip, this other um, point here. Do you use legendaries while working towards your meta? And it doesn't really matter which legendary you use, though Nystro, my officer, can help you with that. He's pretty great at knowing which legendaries to use together. So if you're not in my Discord server, come join now. The link will be in the description. But in my opinion, um, the goal is to focus on, um, let's see, um, perfect foods and instant food and walking faster. And I mean, there's just... Yeah, just, just try to get all the bases covered. And like I said, you can join my Discord server and ask in the questions channel, not anywhere else in the questions channel, which of the legendaries of you, that you have to use to get you towards your goals faster. So do use legendaries while working towards your meta. And in the up in the beginning, you can you can upgrade your rare and your epic parts in the beginning. Don't upgrade common items in the beginning, though. It's kind of pointless. Um, put your common parts towards your glut cub to your club or upgrading your legendary parts that might be like this guy right here or whatever. Okay. Also, you're going to want to participate in all events. So the events come up here. There is this event that happens every single Wednesday. I'm obviously not participating right now because I've been preparing for this video. Um, there's that event that happens every single Wednesday and there is um, there's like a big event that happens. There's four of them that get cycled through. They happen, each of them individually happen once a month, but there is a big event that happens every Thursday through Sunday and it's based on your current time zone. So you will see people who are in different events or have started the event and you haven't started it yet, or they have finished it and you haven't finished the event. That's just, it's just based on the time zone you're in. And so do participate in all these events, but don't do it at the expense of the main game because sometimes you just need to charge the main game. You've got to get going through here faster. So um, getting through all of these things faster because you get gems that way. That's how you get your gems. So obviously you can get gems this way too, but look at this, like the chances of me getting up here and getting the 600 are very slim. I'm not going to even try. It doesn't matter to me. I don't need those gem gems, but um, participate in the events and, but make sure it's not at the expense of the main game because you, there's nothing that, um, there is nothing that can compete with getting, just charging, grinding through the, the game so that you can get through cities because the cities will get you more gems and they'll get you the small boxes for free. So let's see. Um, I'm trying to see where I am in my notes here. Um, don't buy pet chests until you have the first tier meta. So don't buy pet chests until you've got your robot head, until you've got your kimono black belt and, um, and the two laser guns. And the reason for that is because the pets are going to drop, oh, go away. The pets are going to drop randomly in here anyway, right here. And then, um, these pets right here. So don't spend the 500 gems trying to get 
these pets because they're going to drop randomly as you're trying to get your meta, your, your lower, your first tier meta, the, you know, those ones you're going to get, you're probably going to get a whole ton of these and, and you can merge them together to get legendaries. You need 10 of them to get legendary. So don't buy this right here, unless you've got everything you need, I would honestly recommend not even buying it until you've got the mythic meta because uh, you need the gems to get all of the other things. But I love that they added this because I already had the mythic meta and so I was able to go in and buy that until I got my red panda. You can go and see the video where I did that in. Um, okay, so... I already mentioned this already, but don't chase mythics until you have the first tier meta. Like I said, it will double or triple your progression in the game. Um, and then current work, um, continue working on the vault. So just continue focusing on this. Like I said, max this out. That's going to be beneficial. Max, definitely max that one out. I max this one out because I just love only having to do one ad and it takes 40 minutes. And then of course this one definitely max this one out. It's going to take thousands and thousands and thousands to get me from level 39 to level 50. It took me like 65,000 gems. Okay. So just know it's going to be a long game thing. It's not going to be something you're going to do in the very beginning. Let's see. Also focus on, um, club progression. So, um, let's see, spend your gems tying off your meta to get your first tier meta, then spend your gems to tie off the, um, the full meta that comes here, the, you know, the mythic meta that you'll be getting through club boxes. And this is the only way to get mythic meta is through these club boxes that are here. And then in a couple other places in the, in the club rewards, um, you're going to need one of every single ultimate. So you, while you're waiting to get those mythics, get the ultimates from the events, the ultimates come from the events that are in the top right corner here. Okay. Okay. And in order to get these mythic, oops, not there, the mythic. Okay. Let me show you. So this guy right here requires one of all of these. This comes from the moon event. This comes from the seaport event. This comes from the mine event. And this comes from the middle ages event. Okay. This guy right here to get this one, you have to have one of all of the bodies from those events. And then to get this. And by the way, the mythic is uh, mythic meta is either two of these two cleavers or a cleaver and a tenderizer. And in order to do that, you have to have two of everything. Um, and so each event focus on getting, don't worry about for the mythic, don't worry about getting this. It's not part of the mythic build. Um, but this one is so focus on each event. You're going to want to get those things from their specific event. And then you're going to want to get two of each of these from their spe specific event. That's where you're going to be spending your gem, your gems. And don't worry um, that you are, you don't have like legendary stuff. Again, they will come as you need it. Um, they will come as you're focusing, sorry, not as you need it. They'll come as you're focusing on getting those ultimate parts. Okay. Let's see. Um, save three. I've already said that save three of everything of every rare, two of every epic, two of every legendary and of every mythic. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video guys. By the time you get to the point where this video is not helpful anymore, you're going to be far enough game in the game progress, uh, to be able to just, you know, join my discord server, get tips there on what, um, what you could be working on to get better in the future. And then also my, um, my previous videos, just go watch them and to learn like basically where you are specifically. So if you've already got a whole bunch of this stuff done, then hopefully this video will help. But I've also got a lot of other videos that are specifically targeted towards those specific things. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hit the like and the subscribe button and the bell icon to be alerted to future videos. Join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And comment below. Let me know how the game's going for you. How did you find this video? Uh, and what city level are you at when you found it? And I would be interested in seeing where you are at a week from now. So go ahead and come back a week from now and let me know how much progression you've made. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.